Hi everybody, this is Catherine Sampier. I am the owner of Physic in Action. I am actually a kinesiologist. And if you saw my video from yesterday, I was explaining that on the treadmill it can be very boring and if you want to spike her up, um, what I was doing yesterday was intervals, um, not walking and running, really intervals with uh, motions that you can do on the treadmill. I explained that we were doing crisscrosses and also a motion that I call the bubble gum. I'll show you that in a bit. And also backwards walking. So we're going to show you how to do this. Um, use a speed on your treadmill that you're comfortable at already if you know how to use a treadmill. Uh, I suggest trying around the 3 mile an hour mark, which is about 4.2 I think or something like that in kilometers. And um, the flat is really not so good on the PR, your joints. So what you want to do is you want to try to elevate it about five in line. Once you get good, you can speed this up and you'll be also able to really spike up the, the incline. I usually do it at 415, so it gives you a, some kind of a clue how much you want to work. So you're going to start off by a normal walk. All your intervals should be, start with one minute, try to achieve one minute, and then as you get better, you can go two, three, four, five minutes if you like. Usually after two, you feel it. So, grab the treadmill, basically for balance more than anything else. We're going to start with a crisscross since we've already been walking straight. Crisscross, you're going from one side of the treadmill to the other. Going opposite direction, obviously. Try to be careful with your foot. You want to make sure that you're not going in or out when you're walking. It's really bad for your joints, your hip joints. So what you want to try to do is you want to try to stay your foot as straight as possible, facing forward. So you're going to do a minute like this, and then resort to a minute normal again. Now as you notice, I wasn't moving too much during my motion. I was trying to keep it steady by holding. And I'm not holding on big grip. It's just basically having something still like. Now the bubble gum, you're going to be walking as if you're walking on a white line. You know, like you're doing like a, a alcohol test or something, you're walking on the line. You want to make sure your feet are one in front of each other, okay? Now what you're doing is you're creating infinities or eights with your hips. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see much on the video. I'm going to keep my hand up. What you're going to do is you're going to exaggerate a twist. Ladies, you're going to love this. Men. <laughs> We all love watching you do it, okay? So basically what you're doing is you're doing your eight, left and right, for a minute. So you're working your obliques, you're working your abs, you're working your hips, you're working your butt, and you're working your inner thigh. Now you can exaggerate this by incorporating the shoulders. Men, I definitely want to see you do this. Girls, do it. It's worth it. Then a normal minute, okay? And once you've done your normal minute and caught up your breath, because you'll notice that it's a little bit more exhausting than it would be in a normal situation, we're going to go backwards. I'm actually going to turn the comfortable zone. For me, I like turning right. So this is what you're doing. And you're going to grab on. Now, instinctively, what's going to happen is the backwards walk, you won't be able to do as quickly as you would do your normal. When we get a little scared, we end up making small steps. So all you have to do is make the big steps and then we'll go back to normal. So the bigger your step, exaggerating, okay? The bigger the step, the more you're working your butt and hamstring. So the lower back gets involved. The smaller your steps, the more you're working at the front of your quad, okay? So I suggest that you make an in-between be comfortable into your motion. When you're done, flip right back over. Okay, it's, it's not complicated as long as you start at a speed that's good for you. It works everything. It really spikes your heart rate up. You'll notice if your average walk is at, let's say, 135 heartbeats per minute, then it's probably going to go up to 150. Okay, so be aware that this is going to happen because you're concentrating. Nice spice up. You can elevate. You can elevate the. I'll show you what it looks like at 15. Climbing, climbing. 
Now obviously, if you're in an incline, this is a major mistake people do. Oh, it's so easy doing 15. You're basically hanging off your arms. You would not be able to actually go up a hill if you're holding on, walking like this, okay? So keep your body upright. Use your strength if you want. Just lean up, lean up, don't pull, okay? The higher the incline, the stronger it is. Higher the speed, careful for your inner thighs. I'll give you an example, I'll speed her up. Doing a crisscross, it's hard to finish your step without twisting and getting hurt, okay? Choose something safe, and for now, that's it, thank you.